Good morning listeners and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. World over inflation concerns are rising and uh, today uh, China factory gate prices rose higher than expected for the month of March underscoring price pressures affecting the world economy. The 10 year bond yield is around 2.72 crude is around 101 but the dollar index is around 99.80. Apart from that, if we go through with uh, world markets, then we saw some profit taking in US markets. And today, Asian markets are neutral to down. Singapore Nifty is also trading nearly 70 75 points lower as compared to its previous close. If we go through with our markets, then last week the benchmark index showed volatile activity. The Nifty gained nearly 130 points and Sensex gained over 171 points. The market opened with a gap on last Monday and after a long time it traded above the levels of 18,000. But Due to consistent profit taking between 18,000 to 18,200, on Tuesday we saw some correction in the market and market closed at the lowest point of the day on Tuesday and we saw some correction. But on Friday, after hitting the levels of 17,600, we saw quick recovery in the market and uh, it closed at the almost highest point of the day. Based on the short term pattern of the market, we feel the markets are heading towards 17,900 or 18,000 sort of levels. It's a pullback rally that we may witness in the near term. And on the downside, 17,600 would act as major support for the market. Below 17,600, we can expect further more weakness. And in that case, the possibilities of hitting 17,500 and 17,450 would turn bright. Sector specific, we saw some profit booking in IT companies. There was some buying in uh, metal companies. Uh, crude, uh, which is uh, sustaining around 101, 102 levels, is uh, giving some support to the metal companies as they have fallen sharply from their heights in the previous week but after hitting the support areas we saw some buying in specific stocks like Tata Steel, JSW Steel, Jindal Steel and Power and they close at the highest point of the day but the overall texture of the market is still indicating us that markets are going to remain range bound and they are going to follow the world flows or world queues or cues from the world. Today TCS is going to announce its quarterly number and tomorrow CPI numbers are going to get come on the street. So all these factors are there in the market which are like certainly going to keep the overall trend volatile and we need to be level based trader in the short term. For the bank nifty there also we feel 37,200, 37,500 would be the next important resistance level and on the downside 36,500 and 36,300 would be the support in the near term. Friends that's all from my side for the day. With this I am ending today's call. Thank you very much for listening in and have a great day to all of you.